in uh, Usterland at the last World Cup event leading into this. So Kawaoki, look at him bursting away. He knows he's got to make the advantage. Got to use that advantage of 11 seconds. But Benjamin Davier, he's going to start to close down on him very, very quickly. There goes Elo and Gerlitz from Germany and Kazakhstan. And then Krovchinski and Olzud. Battling with each other in the early stages. Who gets the first advantage? Who sticks to their game plan? Olzud at the back of the field at the moment there's Kawaoki the temptation for Kawaoki to go off too quickly must be huge it really will be just 17 went to Pyeongchang this is a, a first world championships for him born without several fingers and toes Kawaoki only made his debut in 2017 was very green going into Pyeongchang and yet still was part of the relay team that came fourth. He only got as far as the semi-finals in the sprint. He's already been passed though. Davier has done him. In the very, very early part of this, Davier has gone past the first person that presents a challenge. Gerlitz falls to the back because Olsrud has got in front. I don't think Gerlitz is done just yet. It was Davie uh, getting away from the start. Just got to use the power. And then two after two, Ayla and Gerlitz, Ovchinski and Olsrud. And already you can see Bib 102, Benjamin Davie is getting away. Kawaoki is doing well here. He's going to get passed by one more. And that belongs to uh, Wovczynski. Ayla is struggling. The 49-year-old at the back here has just completely been blown away by the pace here in this final. Ayla really struggling up this incline. Ayla now has lots of work to do if he has any chance of catching that leading pack across the backside of the stadium area. Go the athletes out of our shot. The uh, crowd themselves, the bells ring. Up into the woods they go once again. Here he is then. Davier. How much of a lead has he got? That's Wovczynski coming in the background. Look how hard the 17-year-old is working. Karaoke is trying to hold off Olsrud, who is holding off Gerlitz. Karaoke, remember, the only one here who doesn't have the use of a ski pole in either of his hands. Really, it's all about the strength in the legs and the speed. Olsrud will be desperately trying to catch the Japanese athlete. The winner is in no doubt. This is brilliant from Davier once again. It's going to be a third straight goal. He's already slowing down. Wolczynski in second. And here comes the battle for bronze. Can Kawaoki hang on? The 17-year-old is putting absolutely everything in. Davier is the champion. Here comes Wolczynski for second. But look at this battle for bronze. Japan against Norway on the line. Kawaoki gets it. Olsra desperate. Desperate to try and get there. And the 17-year-old debutant might just have got himself a bronze. Look at Olsrud down and out on the line. Desperate reach. Kawaoki is delighted. Well, you can see what it means. Olsrud has put everything into that, chasing that bronze. Benjamin Davier looks like he's just been out for a gentle stroll, doesn't he? The brilliance of Davier, the chase down from Wolczynski didn't matter in the end. And that's another pole gone for Davier. Wolczynski is happy. Oh, the desperate, desperate measures 
from Allsrud. Leapt across the line. The sunglasses have gone. And so too is the medal. But Allsrud will be applauded for his efforts. That's for sure. The 33-year-old was closing down all the time on Taiki Koyuki. But it will be the Japanese athlete that gets that bronze. Alexander Ehler really struggling with the pace in that event. Gerlitz wasn't able to keep pace as well. You can see Gerlitz at the back. It wasn't about him. Koyuki in the distance. Take a look at the back here. We know that Davier is going to cross the line. Arms race for the Frenchman. He'll get another medal of the gold kind. Vortinsky was happy in front of him. He was happy behind him. But then look at this battle for bronze. Karaoke, the legs absolutely motor. Olsen had nothing left. He just tries to lunge. Welcome to sport. Welcome to the action here at the Nordic. What a sprint race. And I tell you what, Olsen is coming off and out of the uh, the finishing area and he's getting a huge cheer for those efforts he started 21 seconds back on Kawioki and he must have missed out by fractions